Okay, Micah, you take your shots, and I appreciate your shots because it's well within your right to take them. And now I will respond. I've taken my shots. You take yours. Now I respond. You're welcome to respond back. But I'm going to start from the start. Micah's rookie year, I found him to be a revelation, one I did not see coming. In that draft, I wanted Patrick Sertan. I knew he'd be a perennial Pro Bowl cornerback, and he has established himself as just that. But Denver snatched him one pick ahead of the Dallas Cowboys. They might have been interested in J.C. Horn, who had gone two picks earlier to Carolina. But I wanted Pat Sertan. Gone. So Jerry made a shrewd move. Jerry said, okay, I'm going to trade back. And guess who my trade partner is going to be? It's going to be Philadelphia. As long as Jerry could trust Philly would take Devontae Smith at 10 where Dallas sat initially. And they did. And Jerry traded back with Philly to 12. So then Justin Fields, most people thought, was targeted for Chicago. And that's who took him at 11, which left at 12. Jerry Jones to take the best defensive player still ranked on his board, the highest ranked, and it was this kid out of Penn State named Micah Parsons. And before long, I was calling him my oh Micah 11 from heaven. Before long, he was such a pass rushing revelation. That we even went to our man DJ Steve Porter who created the famed or maybe infamous, I don't know, Tim Tebow music video, All He Does Is Win. You might remember that back in the day in 2011, took the nation by storm. DJ Steve is genius. And we did a My Oh Micah music video that we played often on Undisputed. And I got so carried away about Micah that I dared, I dared to put him in the same conversation with Lawrence Taylor. I said, he's got millions of miles to go, but he has the potential as a pass rusher to equal Lawrence Taylor because I had never seen such speed and quickness at this size, did not yet have his man body or his man strength. Lawrence Taylor was born, even when he was like two years old, he had grown man strength. But I'll take the blame for this. I, I overhyped. I leaped before I probably looked. I got carried way, way, way away. I couldn't help myself. I also immediately began criticizing the defensive coordinator, Dan Quinn, for the way he utilized Micah because he kept seeing Micah as a hybrid linebacker, pass rusher, stand up, and fairly regularly dropped him into pass coverage. I couldn't see it, couldn't take it, didn't stand for it, often criticized it. And did you see the other day, interesting, that Micah's brother took a shot at Dan Quinn by saying that the way Micah has been utilized in Dallas has been criminal. So Micah, I had your back way before your brother had your back. But that does bring me to my cowboy fandom or lack thereof, as Micah suggests. No, Micah, I'm not a fake fan. I'm I'm actually the opposite of a fake fan. A fake fan to me, Well, I I guess maybe, Micah, you define a Cowboy fan as somebody who will worship you blindly no matter how poorly you perform. Maybe that to you is a real fan. The truth is I'm too real of a fan. The the truth is I'm the opposite of fake fan because I'm I'm a hard-ass fan. 
I am an overly demanding fan. I'm a spoiled, rotten fan. I'm an extremely knowledgeable fan because I have known cowboy greatness. I have covered years and years of cowboy teams, having written three books about the Dallas Cowboys. I have known Two Tall Jones. I have known Harvey Martin. I have known Randy White. I have known the great Charles Haley. I have known the greatest pass rushers this team has ever known. I don't go all the way back to Bob Lilly, but I know all about Bob Lilly. Heck, I, I even know my close friend Pat Tume led the Cowboys in sacks. 1973, went on to Buffalo, led them in sacks, and was their defensive player of the year. His first year in Buffalo, went to the Raiders, led them in sacks, and was known by Raider fans as third down Pat. I, I even know Pat Tume, Micah. All of these players more productive in their day than you have been so far in your day. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from the Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.